Hello everyone and welcome to the introduction to my new tutorial series on Java Object Oriented Programming. Now this new tutorial series is going to go from the very basics of Java all the way up until being an expert. We're going to be creating, we're going to be learning what's under the hood, we're going to learn how it all works, we're going to keep building upon that and we're going to be able to by the end build complex programs that we so we can interact with the user and even maybe create a game. So before we begin I'm, with the series, I'm going to have you download a few items that we're going to need. And uh, one of them we're going to need is a textbook. So if you want to head over to my website at onthemountainfilms.yolasite.com and then click over to Files, there will be a link here that will take you to the PDF file of uh, the textbook. Now, I wouldn't recommend printing this off unless you want to uh, spend $20 on paper and ink. But you can save this down to your uh, save this onto your computer, and we can and you can look at it on there. And to save it, you just click here on the save button up here. And uh, this book is really nice. It's uh, fully co it's comprehensive. Everything that you really need to know to become very solid in the language. Um, as you can see, as you scroll down here, is they have a nice table of contents, so you can find whatever you're looking for. Like especially if you're on a if you're doing a project later on, you need to come back for a reference. You can see that, but we'll be going through all of these, and uh, it may look like a, a lot now, but when we go through, it'll mo all of these topics will make sense, and uh, it'll be smooth sailing. Um, so we can come down here, and you can see there are links embedded inside of the PDF, so you can click and go to like um, external uh, websites for more information or uh, check answers because I'm going. There are uh, practice problems at the end of each chapter, and I'm going to um, ask that you do those because it'll help you become a better um, programmer in the end. Um, and before we start the first tutorial, if you could, if you'd want to just uh, read chapter one and two, they're not too long, but chapter one talks about how everything goes on in uh, behind the scenes with Java and how everything works, like. Uh, computers and stuff in general. It talks about how uh, the CPU access data locations for running code and stuff and such. And uh, chapter two, we'll just skip down. Another nice feature is it has these uh, chapter markers right here and helps you get around the book really nicely. I, I really like it. But in chapter two, we're going to be talking about like basic conventions of Java, uh, like the syntax, how to name naming conventions. Uh, we're going to be talking about variables, and I think there's a little bit of uh, printing to the screen. Yep, right here. We're going to do some basic output to the user and uh, in this chapter. And uh, if you guys could just read this, and we'll talk about it in the first tutorial, and it'll all make sense. So um, thanks again for watching, and uh, I'm really excited to make these videos for you guys, and I hope you guys are excited too. Um, if you could just... Uh, if you, oh, if you have any questions, you can head back to my website, and uh, I'm going to be putting up a new thread in my forums, uh, specifically, or a new topic in my forums specifically for this class, or this tutorial series, and uh, you can ask any questions you're having, any bugs with your code, anything like that, and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible, and uh, or you could just leave them, uh, leave a comment on the video. And I'll also try to answer it there, or maybe another viewer could help you out. I'll be releasing these tutorials uh, very soon, and uh, thank, thank you for watching.